Today I'm going to teach you how to become a streamer from scratch. So you've never done streaming before, you're really wanting to do it or give it a go. So I'm going to help you out. I have only six things that you need to start streaming. So let's dive into it. Number one, streaming software. And by this I mean, do you have an Xbox? Do you have a PlayStation? Do you have a PC? Something to stream off of. You can even stream off your phone and start with IRL streaming if you want to. For example, when I first started streaming, I started streaming straight off of a PlayStation 4. And now throughout the years, I've upgraded to a PC. So now I stream off of a PC. PCs can be very expensive. And if you have a console, start on a console if you want. There's no pressure to have an expensive setup. You really don't need such a high costing setup when you're just starting out. Like it's good, it's cool, and you'll have a higher quality stream, but if you're just starting out, just start with what you got. Number two, internet. How are you gonna stream to people if you don't have internet? I'm gonna list three ways you can use your internet uh, to start streaming. From weakest signal strength to strongest. So the weakest one would be number one at hotspot. When I started streaming on PlayStation, I would hotspot from my phone. It wasn't the best but it got the job done. So if your phone lets you do that and you don't have access to Wi-Fi or Ethernet, then use a hotspot if you need. Second up will be Wi-Fi, obviously. It is a good connection, it's nice and strong, especially if you have a strong internet plan. Uh, but number one, and every streamer will always recommend this, is always use Ethernet. If you don't know what Ethernet is, long story short, it's a cord that looks like this, and uh, you plug it straight from your modem to your PC. That gives you by far the fastest internet connection ever. And that will just help with the quality of streams. If you have slow Wi-Fi, it's okay. It'll just be a bit laggy, but pixelated, maybe lower quality for viewers. But as I said, if you're just getting started, it's fine. At least people can see you, you know? Number three, microphone. We want people to hear your beautiful voice. If you have a standard headset through Xbox or your PlayStation, you've already got a built-in microphone. Nowadays, you can also pick up a USB microphone for cheap as chips, anywhere from $50 and up, um, and they just plug their USB plug, so they can plug straight into your console or straight into your PC. You want people to hear you. It's really important. You don't want to go onto a stream and, you know, you can't hear anything going on, you can't interact with the person. It's good to always have a microphone. You need one. You need one. Number four, a camera. People want to see you. They want to see your emotions. They want to see your attitude. They want to see everything. Human emo, like face-to-face -face emotion is very important. Especially when it comes to streaming, it helps you build, helps you build connection with your viewers. Number five, monitors. You need to see a lot of small streamers when they start out, they only have one monitor, which is fine. So with consoles, you're pretty limited. Oh, I don't know about PlayStation 5s, but with PlayStation 4s, you're just limited to the gameplay your camera and then the chat on the side. So it is good to maybe have a phone or a second monitor, meaning a phone or a laptop if you have one, to read chat on the side or to pull up your stream preview and just check out everything's going. But that's only if you have one monitor. If you've got two monitors, you should be good to go. Yeah, you want a monitor to be able to see what you're doing, see what viewers can see via stream preview um, and also have your gameplay going up as well. A lot of, most of you guys will already have this. If you've got a console, you've got a TV, you've got a monitor. If you've got a PC, you've got a monitor that you're watching me off right now. And number six, lighting. You want people to actually see you. You've got the camera, yes, but you want people to see you. Grab a $5 light from the warehouse or grab a lamp that you've already got in your mum's bedroom. Nobody likes going into a streamer's live and seeing just their, their headset lights and nothing else or like the flicker the reflection of the lighting from their monitors you know you want to actually have some lighting people can see you people can interact with you you know they can see what you're doing how you're feeling and so on so make sure you guys grab some lighting you don't have to get expensive lighting like elgato or anything for now just get a lamp or a light uh, turn your, your room lights on make sure people can see you there's a little tip as well if you do have a light i know it's really bad with console cameras if you have a light shining on you it can whitewash you so you can get fully reflected out turn the light around so it faces the wall and bounces the light off the wall and it will give you a nice softer look and you'll be able to actually see you without the light cancelling you out. So yeah, there was six things that you need to start actually streaming. Once you have those six things ready and good to go, you have the ability to start streaming. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below and I'll help you guys out the, mes the best that I can. And I'll be doing more tips and tricks videos on where to go from here. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more. Have a good day, guys.